our bobcat trailer into the log trailer. Just pull those pins, take the ramps off, and go put the arch on. Uh, this thing is, this arch is heavy, but you'll see why a little later why we made it so heavy, and I guess you have to on any of them, but we tried to make it where we could, uh, I want to utilize the old trailer that I had. Actually, I bought this trailer to do this with, but now we're using it more for bobcat work than we are logs, but anyway, all you got to do is set her down there. Uh, and it's real, you know, once you get it laid on there, you can line the pins up basically by yourself. You can put this thing on by yourself, but it's kind of tough just to get it uh, turned over. But once you, once you get it laid on the trailer, well, it just barely raise the ends of them up, line the pins up, stick the same pins in that we used for our ramps. There's one picking that one up, so it's not any trouble at all. Well, I had a little trouble uh, with the Wi-Fi. Um, I had to left the truck running to charge the battery. Had battery issues. You can see there's a couple of uh, little circuit breakers that came on this Harbor Freight uh, winch. Well, I had to take the circuit breakers off because they were clicking. And I had it hooked up single line, and even it wasn't going to pick it up single line. So we fooled around. And then all of a sudden the video started working just as I got it hooked up double line. Uh, but uh, that log, I guarantee you, weighs close to 7,000 pounds, 6,500 anyway. Uh, actually, we went by the feed store on the way home to weigh this log once we got loaded. But with all this coronavirus junk, they were almost closed and we couldn't get on the scales and all that stuff so we didn't get it weighed but it was just for curiosity but I weighed one a few uh, last year and it was this big about the same size uh, actually smaller diameter and it weighed 6,500 pounds so anyway it's a big heavy log and ground soft underneath us it had been raining a lot uh, we're trying to Trying to use an old pair of coveralls just in case that cable breaks for safety. But uh, they, when they're that big, they're hard to handle. We just kind of pulled and twisted around the best we could. We kind of <laughs> got it twisted around just a little bit and started going where you don't want it to go. That's what happens when they're that big. Uh, but we got it loaded. As this thing rolls over, watch it. It raised the whole, the camera was sitting on the back of the truck. It raised the whole truck up, just, just going over that part. I was a little concerned uh, we could <laughs> pull the fender off or damage the fender. I put a bunch of braces on this fender for that reason. We built it, but anyway, um, it's they're just hard to handle this way. I didn't realize I was standing right in the way. But Bob's trying his darndest to but once we got it picked up we could move it around just a little bit trying to straighten it up on the trailer. We, it finally broke over the top of the, the arch and we got it sitting on there kind of where we wanted it.
And once we got it this far, we pretty much knew we had it. I didn't, for a while, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what I was going to get, get it up over there, that hump or not on the back of the trailer, but uh, you kind of had to move some chains around two or three different ways. Uh, get it kind of centered in the trailer, and then I needed to get it on forward some more. So uh, we obviously put some weight on the back of the truck. At this point, it was too much on the back of the trailer. With that kind of with that kind of weight. So now we got it strapped the kind of way we want it. It's just a matter of pulling it forward. I got a roller on the back of the trailer. Uh, it kind of helps. <laughs> a seven thousand pound log is still heavy, but we put a roller on the back of it to help us. And later on, it, kind of, it helps when we take it off. It helps roll off of it just a little bit. So, and uh, we got it up where we want it. We're ready to hog tight and take it home. Here's where I was talking about that roller I'll uh, be put on the back of it. It helps some, and it helps going on, depending on, uh, you know, depending on the log and where it hits and all that good stuff. But uh, that's a 6,000 pound lift. <laughs> it, it lifted it, but I wouldn't want to extend it very much. Uh, but there she is. Uh, now the problem is, I don't, uh, that's a 40 inch log. And I can cut a 36 inch on that wood miser. I don't know whether I can whittle it down enough to, to make lumber out of it or not, but we'll just have to see. And after we get it unloaded, which is the only log we had to go get that day. I'm going to put, take the arch off and and put the ramps back on so we can use it. To, I got two trailers now with this one. It makes it kind of handy hauling bobcat and rollers, ex, mini excavators and stuff with two trailers makes it nice. But basically we're back to the same process, pull those pins. And, uh, like I say, you can do it by yourself, but you better be happy to eat your Wheaties that morning. And uh, But you can kind of slide it out and cantilever it up to, to take it off if you have to. But with two people, it, it's not bad. And we just kind of wind up leaving it, leaning it up against this old tree. When we need it, we can get to it real easy. It works pretty good. So when we get the arch off, we pull up back around to the to the ramps, hook them right back up, no problem.
And with that, it's ready to go to work. As usual, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.